Hello, my name is Mike, and we're at Highland Hill Farm today, and I want to talk to you about how to water plants are in pots. And right here, right in front of me, is a good example of a plant grown in a pot, and we can see that it has a black plastic pot on it. And this black plastic pot, you can also see that by my shadow, that there is sun hitting this black plastic pot. And since the sun is hitting this black plastic pot, it warms up much faster than if it was in a red or in a white pot. So if we do have a pot like this, we have to make sure that we water it very well. For if the sun heats up the soil inside it too much, the plant will dry up faster and the roots will die if the soil is dry. So we gotta make sure that wherever side, wherever pot that we have, if it's facing the sun, doesn't matter if it is black or not, but if the sun is hitting it, we have to make sure that that side of the pot is always well moist. Another thing that we can also do when we're watering plants in pots is to make sure that we water them frequently. If we water them once a week with a real good dosing, it's not good as if you're going to water them three to four times a week and just making sure it's moist. Or if we let the pot dry out, the plant will die. With this media in it, with most media in pots, it's very porous. And with that porous means that the air can go in and out of the soil. And when it goes in, and when it comes back out, it can take water out of it as well. So with this porous media, media, we have to make sure that the plant remains moist in the pot. Hello, my name is Mike Hurst. I'm at Highland, Highland Hill Farm. And right here, we have our Niagara's that are four to five foot tall, which are really nice size. And I want to talk to you about something that's going to happen to all evergreens this year as we get close to the fall, and that's called fall needle drop. That if you look at the ground, you can see some of these yellow needles coming off. That is a symptom of fall needle drop. Every evergreen, every year, loses its needles in the fall. And what's happening is as the new growth starts hardening over, the plant can't support all the growth that it has. So it gets rid of its interior needles, and when it gets rid of it, people can see it sometimes as being yellow. And I guess if we uh, look into the center more, I guess this one over here is better, you can see that the needles do fall off into the center, usually towards the lower part of the tree. The reasoning for the lower part of the tree, not the upper part of the tree, is because the lower part of the tree gets less light than the upper part. So as the plant evaluates itself and which parts of the plants are producing more energy and which ones are not, the ones towards the lower are getting less sunlight, therefore getting less photosynthesis is contributing less to the plant therefore the plant does not the plant the tree itself does not view that part of the plant as important as the top part of the plant which you can see is very nice thick and full so as you look at your arborvitaes hollies spruce pine or any type of boxwoods or Japanese hollies you should see a healthy plant should lose between a fourth to a third of its needles every year during the fall it is a naturally occurring process that the plant does. And if you do see it, and you see the needles falling down in the ground, don't scrape it up and take it away. What that is, that's the plant actually doing it fertilizing and putting mulch down on itself. What this mulch does is it creates the correct pH for the plant to grow in. And as the plant with this debris starts to break down, it gets released and the plant can uptake it again through its roots. So if you just let it sit there, and let it decompose on its own. It is part of the plant's natural system, and that is how healthy plants live. Okay, thank you very much, Mike. We're on Route 313 in Fountainville, PA. This is Highland Hill Farm, and we grow thousands of arborvitaes, pine trees, spruces, junipers, and we have lots of material for you to come to see at our 313 location. Give us a call at 215-651-8329. Thank you. These are Bennett's Compact Hollies. A nice bush for a longer walkway, easy to maintain, hardy, and not expensive. So give us a call, 215-651-8329 at Island Hill Farm. These are our two to three foot green giants that we have. These are in a number three pot. And they're a nice starter plant. There will probably be nothing that we deliver that will be below three feet. But we call them two to three foot because when we're measuring them, what's one, two, three, we don't count this little bit of a tip. So that we call that a two to three foot plant. 
and as you can see we have about a couple, couple hundred maybe in here. We're on Route 313 in Fountainville, PA. This is Bill Hurst at Highland Hill Farm. And we grow quite a few of these. We have many different greenhouses full of different types of trees, plants, and shrubs. And if you want to come up, you can. You can pick out the ones you want, or we can deliver. We have trucks on the road all the time going to D.C., New York, Long Island, and all over. So give us a call at 215-651-8329. Thank you. These are dwarf nandinas. They get about three feet high. They'll have red foliage throughout the winter, white flowers in the springtime, and red berries in the late summer. These are our blood good Japanese maples here at Highland Hill Farm. We have larger sizes as well as smaller sizes and we also have weeping Japanese red maples and also green maples. So give us a call, 215-651-8329.